Hello there. Uh, today I would like to demonstrate some of the features of the SafeDB FXL 2007 add-in. There will be two videos. This is video number one that shows you how to manipulate DBF files with the Excel 2007 add-in. Uh, when you start out with DBF file, you open it up in Excel, uh, add some new records or edit some existing records or adding or deleting some of the fields and then you save it as a new DBF file. Uh, that's what's going to be demonstrated today. So first what you have to do is you have to open DBF file in Excel and I don't know if you guys know this but Excel 2007 can still open DBF files in fact you can change edit them you just cannot save them any longer. So the first thing you ha I, I usually do is I associate the DBF file type with Excel by right clicking a DBF file in the Windows Explorer click open with and then you can choose a default program and you can prick, pick Excel which I already have done and uh, what that does it just shows you a logo Excel logo next to the file name so if you double click this file it will open up in Excel as you can see this is just a standard Excel or DBF file in Excel looks like a database nothing really fancy about it and I can easily add a new record which is a uh, hundred and tenth record because the first row is all also there and uh, by just copying right now the last record for demonstration purposes I'm just gonna manipulate some of these numbers and C31 is the last number there whatever that means it really makes no difference and I can existing ed edit an existing record so record 20 row 21 record 20 I'm gonna make this an uh, a Y and this one is a 9 and this one is a 99 and um, so I did make made some changes I'm going to also change this to K99 so now if I made my changes I can click the save DBF add-in the menu item click the actual button on the ribbon and it's going to offer me a name underscore new DBF the original name uh, mind you, you cannot name it the same as the original. You cannot override the original file in the same folder. Um, so I'm gonna accept this file name for now. You can name it anything you want, and I save it. And it tells me that the conversion is done. It's it can be found basically next to my original file. So if I go there, there it is, and the file size is identical. And the reason is, or very close. Uh, the reason is that the new DBF file actually is based on the old DBF file and in this case because I haven't changed any of the file structures and field structures it's actually identical in terms of uh, field types and field names and sizes and everything else it just has one extra record and it has some records changed namely record 20 uh, changed so if I open this up in Excel you can see nothing really changed as far as field names there is this one that we just changed to Y99 and K99 and the 110th record which is 111th row X99 C31 so it's all all good it's all there okay so this just demonstrates that the file size doesn't change with the add-in the file size it stays the same in the earlier version of Excel versions of Excel if you use the Microsoft one a lot of times when you saved it some of the formatting changed or some of the uh, field name, uh, field types and sizes changed a lot of times the double precision numbers all became 25 which meant 20 length and 5 as decimals um, that's not the case in this case it's actually using the original file as a skeleton and it doesn't change the field size unless unless the edit changes it so uh, the editing is, is, is intelligent in a way that it 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 actually only changes the field size if there is a reason to do that so for example the plot right now is a maximum is I don't know what the maximum is but it's less than 100 so it's a numeric field with a length of 2 which is a integer field so if I change this uh, and let's change this one for row 20 again if I change this to 9999 so it should be a numeric field for in order to accommodate this this edit here um, also what I can do I can add extra fields that of course didn't exist in the original DBF file before so if I add the calculated field 
uh, which is going to be just the sum of transect and plot not that it makes any sense but just for demonstration uh, it should be a numeric field with a length of 5 that's the maximum obviously and I can add some other fields at the end so I'm gonna add the date field which will be today's date just for demo again okay and so I added some new fields uh, and I also changed one existing field size so if I s click save DBF oops it tells me that there are some problems with some of the fields that's another great feature of the add-in it actually checks for DBF naming conventions a field cannot be name cannot be longer than 10 characters it cannot contain spaces and it has to start with a letter so it tells me right there that the calculated field sh should not contain spaces and you should use an underscore so that's exactly what I'll do if you have a longer than longer field name than 10 it will tell you that as well with a suggestion what the name should be okay so I changed that now and now I can just essentially click save DBF no problems with the file offers me the same name I'll just override the other one it tells me to override if it, since it exists uh, I'll do that and if I go there it's changed in size because now we added some fields but the original fields that didn't change they didn't change in size except for the one that had to be which is the plot field if you remember so now if I open this up in Excel you can see the date field is added the calculated field is added the plot field has changed obviously because it accommodates now uh, my numbers okay so um, if I now open this DBF file in an actual DBF viewer so I'm gonna grab drag this and drop it on my viewer um, so um, what you can see here is basically data but uh, what's important if I click the fields you can see that the plot essentially became a numeric 4 the calculated field as we expect is a numeric 5 and the date field is a date field of course you could have logical fields and others as well okay and so so just to demo this I will also drag and drop to test me the original file for your viewing pleasure and what you can see here is that first of all that obviously those those fields are not here this is the original file the unedited one and what you can also see that the original plot field was numeric 2 which is now numeric 4 the same thing applies to a character field so if I change this field uh, for example um, to add some stuff that results in a longer than the original for the eco region this was actually a uh, original field was character 19 I believe so now if I save this and I'm gonna save it under the same name to make it simpler I override the original and I do my little trick with the dragging and dropping that field file onto the viewer um, if I went here what you can see that of course we already know about the plot and the um, eco region as you can see change from 19 or 18 or whatever it was to 47 so it accommodates that new uh, file and in fact if you look at the header it will tell me that this is record size is 157 the pl field count is 15 because we added two extra fields and it was updated today so it actually is perfectly updating the DBF file as it should so this is what I wanted to demonstrate today uh, related to DBF files and as I said this is demonstration number one thank you